Well, I very strongly considered watching this one on the treadmill, but instead I stayed home and did some stretching. Welcome to The Final Wager. I'm Keith Williams. And as you know, watching it at the gym often has uh, some repercussions, whether I'm cursing aloud or muttering under my breath or well, I haven't passed out yet from a bad wager, but tonight, maybe that would have happened. Who knows? Shayna, in the lead, 18,700, gotta say her story was one of the best I've heard on Jeopardy. Makes you think about how many people have similar stories and how many people don't have similar stories because the people who knew about whatever was buried were no longer around. Matt, our defending champion, very affable guy, 15,200 in Pat, also seemed like a good guy, 8,200. This one's going to get wild. Matt doubles up. 30,400, so to cover that, Shayna's going to have to wager... No, 11-7. That's supposed to go over here. See, my brain's a little addled right now, I guess. I don't know why. She's wrong with that wager. She's going to be left with uh, uh, 7,000. Loud outside right now. I wonder what's going on. Matt's gonna max out at 8,200. Pat's gonna max out at 1,200. Pat Dole's obviously gonna have 16,4. <clears throat> so to cover that, Matt's gonna have to wager 1,200. And uh, Shayna could wager up to 2,300. She doesn't like the category. Alright, that's it for the light blue pen. Now, let's look at the maximum wagers. Oh, I should say that I should grab the light blue pen back, but Pat, if he's afraid Matt's going to go small, 1,200, he should just wager everything. Now for actual second order wagers. <clears throat> if, uh, let's start with this 1,200 amount. If uh, Pat does that, he'll have 9,400, so to stay above that, Matt will have to wager 58 at most. And if uh, Shayna wants to stay above that, that's going to be, I think, 9,300. Yeah, 9,300. If Matt, and again, if Matt or Shayna goes for those waiters, the 8,200 is pretty much all Pat can do. If Matt goes for this 8,200 amount, that's going to put him at 2,300. Four, so to cover that, Shayna can wager 4700 If she's wrong with that total, she'll be left with 14 even. So to stay above that, Matt can wager up to 1200 So now, these two scores are the same, so there is a wager to tie possibility here. I think that's going to be it for a second order, and uh, I think this might be the first time that... Third order, or a, sorry to say, zero cover wager is going to result in a tie wager. Let's start with Matt and Shayna. Matt and Shayna are separated by 3,500. So Shayna could max out at 3,500. Uh, I guess we'll put it down here for now. Matt could wager 3,500. I'll put that there at a minimum. And to cover an unsafe wager, a Colby esque wager by Shayna, it's going to be 7,000. So, what's going on there? Between Shayna and Pat, I'm not too concerned. That's uh, 10,500, can't really fit that in there. Now the difference between Matt and Pat, that's 7,000. So, <clears throat> Pat would want to wager 7,000 again, 8,200, everything, to cover zero wager. But, if Matt wants to stay above Pat, that is another wager of 7,000. Now we have two wagers to tie, and I'm going to get rid of this 8,200. And over here, Shayna, I'm going to tighten her wagering ranges a little bit. That's her best wager, obviously. That's another range, and this 2300 is tighter than the 3500, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, yeah, Matt played this one perfectly. This might be the best wager of the year, actually. I think the best wager of the year is still <clears throat> Christine Kim's uh, True Daily Double on the penultimate wager. That got her to exactly two-thirds of her opponent's total and let her win 
by a dollar on the double stumper. But this really, really, really well thought out. 7,000, very few players are going to risk a tie on the downside if Pat goes for zero. And uh, Shayna didn't, either didn't recognize the situation or was scared. And if she was scared, she shouldn't have wagered more than twenty two ninety nine to stay above Pat if uh, Pat doubled up, and he did almost double up. So uh, tonight really showed that covering an unsafe wager is a good play, a smart play, and uh, fortune favors the people who come prepared. And we'll see if Matt can get win number three tomorrow on the final wager.